Some discussion on the Necromancy Discord recently got me pondering over some of the most ingenious phylactery types. This video is about the Dungeons and Dragons style phylactery. In case you don't know already, which is pretty unlikely if you're a follower of this channel, when a necromancer wishes to become a lich, he will perform a ritual that kills his body but whisks his soul away to the safety of an object called a phylactery. The phylactery becomes the true home of the necromancer's soul, and should his body ever perish, he will not die because his soul is safer from the phylactery. If he is killed, he will regenerate at the phylactery after a few days. This means the lich will want to protect his phylactery very well. Phylacteries are often described as being a sealed metal box with pieces of parchment inside, but equally as often they're an item like a ring or an amulet. Usually these items are heavily guarded and well hidden. But perhaps the best hiding spot for a phylactery isn't a dusty old crypt somewhere, with heaps of undead guards around it. I mean, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? If I was someone that had recently defeated the lich and now sought his phylactery to kill it for good, my first thought would be to look in some heavily guarded place for some fancy jewellery, which is probably the phylactery. So it got me thinking, what is the best item for a phylactery and also how is it best hidden? There are a number of ways. For example, you could encase the phylactery in a huge slab of concrete and sink it to the bottom of a sea or lake. That'd work. You'd regenerate underwater somewhere near it and just be able to swim to the surface and then get back to work. The problem with this though is that your phylactery is always in the same place. It's also going to be very difficult to relocate it if you have to. It's not a bad hiding spot for a phylactery, but I think you could do better. I tend to believe that things are often best concealed in plain sight. The phylactery should be a relatively mundane item, but also a somewhat valuable one. You want it to be mundane enough that it doesn't draw any attention to itself, but valuable enough that people won't mistreat it. The danger of mistreating a phylactery isn't that it could be destroyed. A phylactery cannot be destroyed by mundane means. Often a special ritual is required. It's a bit like the Ring of Power in The Lord of the Rings. Strike it with an axe, the axe breaks. But if they attempt to destroy the phylactery, then it's immediately exposed to something exceptional. It's drawn attention to itself, which isn't good. I'm used about the idea of having a high value coin as a phylactery. It's a common item because coins are everywhere, people are unlikely to destroy them because their value as money usually surpasses whatever kind of material worth they possess. If your phylactery was a coin, people would carry it around and guard it without ever knowing what it truly was. If word somehow gets out that the lich is using a coin as a phylactery, they're going to have a hell of a time inspecting each and every coin in the kingdom. There's probably tens of thousands of them, some of these coins lie forgotten in chests or lost down in gutters. Hell, maybe someone even decided to make a nice coin mosaic out of them. They might eventually be able to inspect each and every coin around, but it'd be a huge undertaking and may not yield any results. The biggest danger with the coin I can think of is if the coin is made of gold. Someone may attempt to melt coins down into gold bars, and when they attempt to melt the phylactery down, it wouldn't work, and then the cover is blown. If the coins are made of cheap, worthless materials like pewter or zinc, then the defense is much stronger. I think for a lich who wants to hide his phylactery in plain sight, a coin is quite a good option. Another great candidate would be some kind of lesser magical item. Take, for example, a brooch of shielding. This is a valuable enough item that someone wouldn't want to see it destroyed for material gain. But it's also common enough that people won't be seeking these out exclusively. Most adventurers carry a brooch of shielding around at some point. It's just a useful little item. It carries most of the benefits the coin phylactery has, but it has one extra advantage, but also one extra downside. The downside is that a brooch of shielding is far less common and also far more valuable than a coin. So if word got out that the lich's phylactery is a brooch of shielding, then gathering them all and inspecting them would be a lot easier. The advantage though is that the brooch of shielding is already a magical item, 
If a mage runs a cursory scan over items to detect if they're magical or not, the mage will just assume that the brooch is magical because of its shielding ability, and not because it's actually a phylactery in disguise. A coin doesn't have this advantage. If the coin phylactery was kept in a chest filled completely with coins, and a magic scan goes over the chest, then the mage will know something magical is in there. Then they will dig through the chest and find it contains only coins. They will then deduce that one of these coins must be magical, and start inspecting them. Then your cover is blown. This would not be a problem if the coin was kept in a chest along with other magical items. But if the coin is passing hands among the general public, then this kind of defense cannot be guaranteed. If I was a lich, I would make my real phylactery a coin phylactery, and let it go out among the general populace. I would then create many elaborate decoys to throw pursuers off. I'd make heavily guarded crypts that guard mundane magical items. I'd have a different mage craft many slightly magical false coins, and distribute these as slightly magical trinkets, like a coin that just does a light spell cantrip or something when you rub it. I'd have this mage put his magical signature upon it. All of this would of course be done with a magical geus upon the mage, which would ensure that he either forgets everything once it's done, that's probably the best case, or he dies if he ever tells anyone that he's done the work, or he's somehow compelled or unable to say that he's ever done the work. Something like that. That way he could never rat me out. Then I would use this coin as my phylactery. Good luck first of all finding out that my phylactery is a coin, then tracking it down and distinguishing it from all the hundreds of decoys. Please let me know in the comments section what phylactery you would choose and why, and also how you conceal it. I'm genuinely interested because I'm sure that some of you have come up with even better ideas than the ideas I came up with in this video. Thanks for watching. I've got more necromancy stuff on the way.